Today we are going to learn how to perform a simple running suture. For this you will need a needle driver, pickups, suture scissors, suture, and your behind the knife suturing board. The simple running suture can be used alone for small wounds under minimal tension. It is also typically used as a secondary layer for the approximation of the epidermis after the dermis has been closed using a deep suturing technique. We're going to start by picking up our needle drivers and loading our needle into them in an orientation for a forehand throw. The first part of the suture involves placing an anchoring stitch at the top of the wound. To do that, we're going to perform a simple interrupted stitch here at the top. After we tie down this anchoring stitch, we can trim the short tail, but we'll reload the needle without cutting the long tail. We will then throw a series of simple interrupted throws moving towards us, but instead of tying a knot, we will just reload our needle when it comes out of the epidermis in preparation for the next sequential throw. It is important to take uniform bites with each throw. For the final throw at the bottom of the wound, we'll perform a backhanded, simple interrupted throw. Instead of pulling the suture completely through as we've done previously, we'll leave a loop of suture material on the side of the incision opposite of the needle. The suture can then be instrumentized using the loop which will act as the short tail. Once you cut the suture here, you've completed a simple interrupted suture. If you would like to throw a simple running locking suture, you will start the same way as the non-locking simple running suture with tying your anchoring stitch at the top of the wound. You will throw your next stitch the same way. The difference here though is that when you come out with your needle on the other side, you will bring your needle driver through the loop you've created prior to re-grasping the needle. After you grasp the needle, you will then pull laterally, which will lead to the suture not only running across the wound, but also running down parallel to the incision. What this does is lock each loop of suture in place. We will repeat this again. Needle comes out of the epidermis, needle drivers comes through the loop, and then grasp the needle and pull it laterally. You will continue this until you reach the end of the wound, and then we'll finish this technique the same way as I've demonstrated in the prior non-locking simple running suture video. And that is how you perform the locking variation of the simple running suture.